Can you believe this is the coastline of Bulgaria? Hi, we're Tristan and Helen, and last year we jumped into full-time van life, traveling Europe and exploring 11 different countries. And now we're on our longest road trip to date. If you've been following our journey, you'll have seen that we spent the last month in Romania and are now in sunny Bulgaria. But in true style for us, we've not traveled far and have spent more time on this coastline than originally planned. However, when the views are like this, we don't regret a slower pace of van life. This week, we're taking you on a scenic tour along the coastline of Bulgaria, stopping off at secluded beaches, holiday hotspots, and a couple of charming coastal towns. Before we head up the coastline of Bulgaria, we're gonna tick something off our bucket list that we've been waiting weeks to do, and that's take a dip in the Black Sea. Oh. You did it! And the best thing is, we've got full water so we can go and have a nice warm shower. <laughs> so we're all showered after going for our first swim of the year, which was really nice, feeling a lot more awake now. Definitely helps going for a nice cold dip in the morning. We're at a beach just outside of the town of Cinem Cinemarets. Is that how you say it? Cinemarets, yeah. It's really quiet because I think there's meant to be quite a bit of rain coming our way. We've actually spent about the last week just enjoying van life along this coastline of Bulgaria, right by the sea, really close to the border with Turkey. Just so many nice free park ups right along the coast. We've just been listening to the waves every night. We can hear it from our van as we fall asleep and it's just been so peaceful and relaxing. It's been dry, but the sea's been really choppy. In fact, where we were parked up the other day, we even saw loads of surfers out. There's supposedly a couple of really secluded, kind of hidden, covey beaches. So we're gonna go for a walk there because they can only be reached by foot, apparently. That's where we are. We're gonna walk all the way down to this beach. As you can see, the landscape has really changed. We just went up that really rocky cliffside. It wasn't too bad, um, just got to be a bit agile with it. But now it's opened up to these really beautiful kind of meadow field right along the cliff. You can see the sea right behind me. And if I spin you around, we've got these kind of cliffs. So I think one of the beaches should be just down there. Steady. I don't want a repeat of what happened last time. Uh. Oh my god. We've definitely arrived at a very secluded beach. It's like a desert island beach. We've got the whole thing to ourselves. This beach is so beautiful and it's so secluded. It literally feels like something out of Jurassic Park. The tree line behind us along this beach is insane. It looks so wild. It feels like if you were to rock up here on a, you know, like a shipwreck, you'd be happy. It also looks like... <laughs> Sinking. Up. Up here. It looks like you can continue on on these cliffs just behind us but we've got another exciting location that's about an hour north that we want to get to this afternoon hopefully park up there for the night 
because it looks stunning right by the sea. But before we go anywhere, we need to get some water because we used it all up showering this morning. Let's go. So we've just arrived at our final spot for this evening, a place called Driver's Beach. It's just another beautiful spot that we found on Park for Night. It's completely free off-grid living, which we absolutely love. Since it feels like so long ago we were waking up and going for that swim, we're gonna call it a night. We've got some super exciting things that we're gonna to do tomorrow and we can't wait to share them with you. seven minutes away because I'm hungry. I need a coffee. Ooh. Now we're just going to our first spot of the day which is an old town called Sosapol which looks really cute and interesting. It's the most southern point of the Burgas Bay. Afterwards we're going to travel round the Burgas Bay about an hour north to another historical town which is a bit more of a tourist hotspot called Nezabar and then this afternoon we're going to head another hour north to hopefully a really nice beach park up for the night. Just parked up and we're walking into the old town of Sozopol, a couple of restaurants which looks nice and we're gonna try and find a restaurant to have some the local seafood for lunch. We found ourselves in a sweet little spot in the sun just to enjoy some of the fresh fish from this little restaurant. Cheers. Mm. So it's a pretty famous thing here to get ice cream with figs in it. So that's what we bought. Good. Yeah, you won't like it though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. What a cute little place. We finished off our meal with some uh, homemade ice cream with green figs that are grown locally all the way around this like peninsula bit and it was so tasty. We have got one more stop to make before we find our final place for this evening. I'm really unsure how we're going to make it before sunset but we'll see. Oh and all of that fresh local fish, homemade ice cream, a salad to start, there's only 90 Bulgarian lev which is about 40 pounds. I'm so stuffed. Same. Good baby. <laughs> How much are we filling up? 120. Well, that'd be. Well, I forgot. I was going to 180 for some reason. I filled up loads, yeah. Just under That was bargain. Uh, yeah, it's not bad actually. What was it? 40 quid? 58. 58 pounds for a, almost a full tank. That's not bad, is it? It's giving me over 400 miles, so. Yeah. I don't know what it is per litre here, but. £1.20 per litre. Yeah. Cheese. And the Germans. 
after driving for just over an hour, we have just arrived in the town of Nezabar. We're just going to go and explore and have a walk around. We really are treating ourselves today. We stocked off with cappuccinos. about a couple of hours walking around the old town of Nezabar. It's really pretty, loads of cobbled streets. A lot busier than Sozopol, probably because there's no traffic allowed in the like central area around those cobbled streets. Loads more shops, loads more going on. It's definitely a nice town that you're going to probably want to visit if you're along this coastline of Bulgaria. But I think overall I would say I prefer Sozopol than Nezabar. Oh, yeah. Just for the quieter, more authentic kind of vibes that I gave. Yeah, much more authentic, a <laughs> lot less people. One thing is we are here midweek, out of season. It's kind of mid-May at the moment. So I reckon both would be busy during this high summer season. Both are really nice to check out if you're in the area. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend it. And now to see what Sunny Beach is all about. My arm hurts. Sometimes it's really hard to get stand the van into some of these places, but like Sozopol, Nezabar has a big open car park and it's so easy to park a big old camper van like stand the van. Do not pass. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah. After trying to reach a point on park for night, that just did not go to plan. So we've driven about an hour north from the town of Nezabar just to try and find somewhere a little bit more secluded and a little bit more wild. We found this place on park for night. It's really basic, just pretty much a parking lot lay-by, but it'll do for tonight. And we just walked 10 minutes from our van down to this beach called Bayer Beach. It's really picturesque, it's so beautiful, massive long stretches of sand along the coastline. It's so nice and... The sand's so golden, the sun yeah. setting. I think this is definitely the best beach we've been to here in Bulgaria over yeah. the past few days. Also what's amazing is this kind of hillside that's so wild and filled with green trees and it's so, it's just so picturesque isn't it? Yeah. Yeah the coastline of Bulgaria is so beautiful from what we've explored and there's just so much variety and definitely something for everyone basically. You know, you go all the way from the really rugged cliff sides and secluded beaches to more kind of holiday beach resorts and old towns. For us, definitely my favourite park up was the kind of cliff side point near Bavara and swimming in the sea was so much fun. When you are continually doing so much and moving and constantly changing your surroundings and environment, it just feels like a week ago that we were swimming in the back sea. It does. So we're going to wrap up the video there. We're going to head back to the van because one, we're absolutely shattered and two, because we're heading back to Romania. Thanks for watching the video guys. We really appreciate it. And if you want to see our adventures continue back in Romania and up to Norway this summer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it or found it valuable. And if you have any questions at all about the Bulgarian coastline, be sure to drop those questions in the comments below 
and we'll get back to you to the best of our knowledge really. Yeah. Next time on Coconuts and Camels! How is this even legal? Join us back in Romania where we attempt one of the most challenging yet epic hikes we've ever done. This is actually quite scary. <sighs> Oh my god, you might as well do it properly.